everybody! It's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and this is my first voiceover video! Woohoo! <laughs> Today we actually are not gonna be doodling in the Artsy Badger sketchbook, but rather we are going to do a sketchbook tour! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love watching sketchbook tours. And I was in Alaska for about 10 days, and I decided to do a travel journal. Uh, so this is that. This is the tour of my Alaska travel journal. <laughs> this sticker on the front is just something that I stuck on there because I got it for free, and I thought it was cool, so I stuck it on there. The sketchbook is a five by seven, 86 pound, 30 sheet B paper. I've never used this brand before, but the paper was fairly thick and the size was small enough that it wasn't daunting, but it was big enough that I felt like I had room to express myself. I decided to use it the horizontal way because it just felt appropriate because I knew I was going to be doing uh, landscapes and things like that. But with all that said, let's get into the supplies. So the bag that I have here is just a black bag. I think it was originally a makeup bag that I got from Forever 21. I brought with me 10 Pro markers. And these are Pro markers that I got when Winsor & Newton bought out Letra Set. So I got the Pro markers for super cheap. They are a bullet nib on one end and a chisel tip on the other. I have them in the colors sun-kissed pink, saffron, apple, cornflower, lilac, burnt umber, mustard, olive green, petrol blue, and warm gray too. The other supplies I'm using are my usual purple Pentel twist erase in 0.5 lead, my 01 and 03 Micron, my Zebra Brush Pen by Kuratake, and my Uniball Signo White Gel Pen. Unfortunately, the 03 exploded on me in the plane on the way there, um, as did my Zebra Kuratake Brush Pen, um, but they still worked pretty well for me for the whole trip. So let's get into the sketchbook. The first page is just kind of a cover page of sorts, I guess, saying where I went, and it's got nice fall colors and the dates that we were there. I really liked the way the trees turned out. This next page is really heavily inspired by Fran, which, if I'm being honest, this whole journal was really inspired by Fran. If you guys don't know who Fran is, I will leave her info in the description because she's really cool and you should go watch her. Um, but the sort of what I packed page was heavily influenced by her and I really love the way it turned out. I love the clutteredness of it and all the little tiny details. It's just really fun to look at and I have a couple more pages in the future that kind of mimic this. This next page is a uh, just a little doodle of me and my partner sleeping on the plane. Yeah. Okay, this next page, <laughs> it was quite the drama. Pretty much we were planning on taking our backpacking bags as carry-ons, but our flight was really full so they made our whole boarding zone check our bags and somewhere along the way they broke off the ceiling strap on the top of our orange bag. So it was this whole drama but we ended up actually being able to purchase a new really nice bag, an Osprey bag if anyone knows backpacking companies that's a pretty good company and hopefully we'll be able to get a refund. The airline is still processing our request but we were told that we would be refunded for our items missing and damaged so fingers crossed. This next page is just a little doodle of our Airbnb. It was very cozy. We were only there for a couple days, but um, it was really nice to have a home base while sorting out the whole backpack situation. 
This page is just a doodle of a mug that I used while we were at the Airbnb. They had a little mug wall and everyone kind of chose which mug was theirs. <laughs> Now this was a really cute espresso hut, I think is what they're called. Um, we don't have them here in California. I'm from California, by the way. But they're all over Alaska, and I have seen them in Utah also, I believe. Um, but they're basically these tiny little houses where you can just drive up to the window and order your coffee and then be on your way. But this one was so cute. I loved the trim and I loved the rocks and the color. It was just, it was adorable. On our drive to our first destination, we actually ended up seeing probably the most wildlife we ended up seeing the whole trip. We saw a little moose calf. I inserted a little video here. I know it's pretty shaky. I'm filming it through binoculars, so that's why it's so shaky. And the scenery, oh my gosh, the, the colors of Alaska right now are just insane. These mountains were just a rainbow of colors. It was, it was really magical. The first place we stayed at was this cute little cabin called the Viking Lodge, but really it's just a public use cabin. It's a dry cabin, no running water or electricity, but it was such a nice place to stay. Nearby, we did a little creek hike, and it was our first hike in Alaska. The following morning, we were able to see a lynx out our cabin window, which was just the coolest thing ever. That was super thrilling, and I, I had this wonderful moment with him through the window, just making full eye contact, and I'm an animal enthusiast, I guess. Uh, so it was really, really exciting. <laughs> Here's a doodle of the car we were using to travel. Here's another one of those cluttered pages that I really like. I drew all the food that got me through the trip. Some tasty bites, apples, sandwiches, lentils and quinoa, pickles were a big one. Yeah. On that long drive, we actually got to see more wildlife on the same bank that the little moose calf was. And it was a golden eagle uh, munching on a, a salmon he caught. Sorry, this video is so shaky. This is just a little doodle of our camp at Exit Glacier once we left the uh, Viking cabin. Now this, oh my gosh, this hike, although long, and difficult. It was so worth it. The view was amazing and my drawing does not nearly capture it so I inserted a photo here so that you can just kind of understand the grandeur of this glacier called Exit Glacier in Kenai Fjords. And on this hike we got to see birds called white-tailed ptarmigans and the friend that we were visiting, he's actually um, a birder or a bird enthusiast or he likes birds. And this is one of the last birds he had yet to see in Alaska, so that was really exciting. On the 13th, we really didn't do much in the camping or backpacking variety. We went and took a shower and went to this restaurant called The Cookery that someone recommended to us and oh my god was that food delicious. So if you ever find yourself in Seward, go to The Cookery. The next morning we went on the Glacier Express for a tour through the Kenai Fjords and the best part of this trip was the fact that we got to see orcas. <laughs> I inserted a little clip here of some of what we saw, but it doesn't even capture the magicalness of the moment. It was just, it was everything I had hoped for. In case you can't tell, most of the things that I was excited about for this trip involve animals. I like animals. <laughs> Another sketch of our campsite, this one with a little fire. 
This one was really nice because it was by the water. Our final couple days were spent um, on the Russian River or at the Russian River and we were looking for salmon running but um, at this first spot although it was beautiful it was really just full of dead decaying salmon. <laughs> Once the salmon finish spawning they die and since we were there at the end of the season we got a lot of dead fish and it was very smelly. This was just me trying to capture sort of the changing colors around us. I can't emphasize enough how beautiful the fall colors were. Again, this little mushroom, I feel like kind of embodies the colors of the area. It was just, it was so great. And although we missed out at that first river location, we ended up hiking up to a waterfall and we ended up seeing lots of salmon running, AKA jumping up waterfalls. Again, I inserted a little clip. Hopefully your eyes are swift enough to catch them jumping. There's two in that clip that jump up the waterfall. Feel free to rewind if you missed it. <laughs> and then we're getting down to the last couple drawings. I doodled me and my partner just relaxing in a Starbucks, passing the time before we had to go to the airport. And that's it. It was really an amazing trip. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. I stuck my swatch page in the back of the book. Um, it's also what I used as my bleed preventer. So that was 30 pages in 10 days, roughly. I think it's actually more like 27 pages, I counted. It only came with 28 pages, so I'm wondering if the company counts the cover and the cardboard backing as pages. But either way, I really enjoyed this experience. I'm really glad that I drew as much as I did on the trip. Um, it feels really good to have these memories in a sketchbook form. All right, thanks for watching. Bye! Hope you guys are excited for Inktober, cause I know I am. <laughs>